Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to modify your Beat Saber level to have its very own custom colors. Now this only works on levels you modify, not the entire game itself. First, you're going to need to have a couple of mods installed, including the Song Loader plugin and the Custom Colors mod. The Custom Colors mod can also be used to modify the entire game itself, and you can find the link for the download for both in the description. Once you've done that, you'll need to copy the text in the description on your clipboard. It'll be uh, quote unquote color left and quote unquote color right. Copy that whole strand. Now we are going to go into the Beat Saber file directory. To do this, go to your Steam app, right click on Beat Saber, and go to the bottom of the pop up and look for properties. Click on that, go to local files, and go to browse local files. Once you're in here, you go to custom songs and this is the entire song list that you have downloaded. I have quite a lot. If you made a level using the editor, it'll be down here. If you didn't and you want to modify another one, it'll be in here somewhere. The best way to find your level is to search for it in here. And I'm going to be using the level Overkill by Nuke Time because my levels are, bo are boring. So we'll search for Overkill. And these are the two ones. I believe this one's by Nuke Time. You can find out in here. Yes, this is by Nuke Time. So once you have that strand copied, you can also close out of Steam. You go into the difficulty JSON, which is right here, so it'll be easy, normal, hard, expert, expert plus. Go into here and use the arrow keys because if you try to scroll, you'll go way past it. Look for time 65 and events, all right? Go in between the comma and the quote right here, and paste the string. All right, now minimize your notepad, and you can close out of this. Open Google Chrome, and look for, in the search bar, color hex. Click on the first link, and click on this drop down right here. Pick your color. I'm going to be using orange because orange is cool. Oops. And click on choose. Now click this button right here, get info. And this is your color. Now you're going to scroll down about halfway till you find the percentages. Put this window about right here so we can open two windows at once. Where'd it go? Here. All right. So open your notepad back up. All right, and then we're going to transfer the percentages over. Now, 1 is 100, so you're going to want to put, this will be left color. We'll go over here to color left. Red is 0 0.58. Green is 0 0.39. And blue is 0 0.01. All right, and you don't have to use all the decimal points. Just the first two should work. All right. Let's pick the second color. So let's go with a nice purple. All right, let's choose that, get its info, and we'll scroll down to its percentages. So we can enter this, which would be 0 0.47. Green is 0 0.01. And the blue is 0 0.50. All right, now, you want to save this, and then you can close out of it. You can also close out of here. And just to prove that it works, I'm going to run Beat Saber. All right. Here we go. Oh, where's my other remote? There it is. All right. Oh, I'm gonna have to switch the audio over. I forgot to do that. So let's go over here and switch the audio to left. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not. Let me check. Yep, you should be able to. All right, and then we're gonna go into free play. I'm gonna search. For overkill because I have way too many songs to sort through and nuke time all right and we'll play it 
So see, now I have two different colored sable sabers. Orange is a bit ugly, but that's just because it's darker. It's hard to get neon colors in here, mainly because the boxes themselves are darker. So yeah, that's how you get custom colors in Beat Saber. Hope you guys enjoy, comment if you have any issues, and leave a like. Bye-bye.